Irish companies should aggressively pursue opportunities for Irish producers to replace British suppliers in EU marketplaces, argues politician Neil Richmond. Speaking in The New European, Irish politician Neil Richmond has said, Britain's loss of easy access to the single market is now potentially a gain for Ireland. We need to aggressively pursue opportunities for Irish producers to replace British suppliers in EU marketplaces. The Irish TD warned that Brexit had created a major shift for Irish business. He maintained that there has been a move away from the use of the UK land bridge to move goods to continental Europe. Mr Richmond, though there was huge relief in the securing of an 11th-hour trade agreement between the UK and the EU on Christmas Eve, avoiding tariffs on our exports to the UK, the seamless Ireland-UK trade we once knew is a thing of the past, speaking about the increase of Irish direct trade to Europe, avoiding the UK as a land bridge, he added, Rosslair, Ireland's closest port to the mainland, has seen a 446% increase in freight volumes on their direct shipping routes compared to last year. Rosslare now offers 30 direct sailings per week to the continent, compared to 10 per weeks in 2020. Meanwhile, MEPs are plotting to drive a wedge between Scotland and the rest of the UK with a last gasp push to allow students north of the border to retain access to its Erasmus exchange programme in a move certain to test the patience of Boris Johnson. The agreement is currently being scrutinised by both the Trade Committee and the Committee on Foreign Affairs, and the Parliament could vote as early as February 23 although it still has to option to ask for an extension. Erasmus is a European Union student exchange programme which was established in 1987. Speaking in December, Mr Johnson announced the UK would instead set up its own scheme, to be named after UK computing pioneer Alan Turing, with the best universities in the world. However, MEPs are pushing for last-minute changes, with Terry Rientke, a member of the Green Party from Germany, tweeting, together with 144 colleagues, I have sent this letter to the Commission to explore ways for Scotland and Wales to stay in Erasmus. For me, it is also a tribute to all the wonderful people who made me feel welcome and at home in Edinburgh during my own Erasmus year. In a separate comment piece posted on the EU Observer website, Marcus Gastinger, a Marie Sklodowska Curie Fellow at Austria's University of Salzburg, argued the assembly should go even further.